What we have here is a desktop computer, uh, one of the new Windows 8 desktop computers for teachers, uh, the HP desktops. Uh, you can see here uh, that it seems to be stuck on the boot up uh, screen. You see the HP there. You can also see by looking down on the front panel, uh, there's a green light on that indicates power. Uh, but the green light underneath that, which should activate, or which should signify uh, hard drive activity, is not blinking at all. And so if we've got a computer that's attempting to boot, uh, but the hard drive uh, isn't working at all, then what we have is a stuck machine. And it's not going to get any better. If you, s if you leave it there, it's just going to sit. Uh, and let me get a close-up here. Um, that top light uh, is the power light. Uh, the bottom light uh, is the hard drive. If you see that bottom light blinking, let the computer go. Uh, you should let the computer uh, continue its processes as long as the hard drive light is blinking uh, or showing some activity, then it means the hard drive is spinning uh, and the computer is in the process of booting. But as you can see here, uh, this computer is not uh, doing anything. And so what you want to do to fix this problem is to go around the back of the machine uh, and you'll see uh, the power cord. Um, you want to pull it out uh, and just set it down. And then you want to go back to the front of the machine. And you see uh, we have no activity, uh, which is good. What you want to do now is press the power and hold it down. You want to do this for about 10 seconds. Now what this does is it's going to drain all of the capacitors on the motherboard. Uh, capacitors hold electricity and so uh, by holding this power button down we're telling the computer we want it to start uh, but it doesn't have a power supply and so it's draining energy out of the capacitors to try to start. Uh, and of course that's not going to happen. So now that all the capacitors are drained, should be able to plug it back in like so. And then go back around to the front of the machine and turn it on again. And hopefully what you'll find is that the computer doesn't get stuck again. Uh, it should continue a normal boot process. And we can tell it's going to be normally booting uh, by looking down at that hard drive activity light. And we, when we see that hard drive activity light blinking, we know that the hard drive is working and the computer is attempting to boot.